hi guys welcome to the channel and thank you so much for coming back in today's video we're going to be talking about the new immigration salary list that has been released today the 4th of april 2024 by the uk government so this list has replaced the shortage occupation list when we talk about the shortage occupation list there are jobs that the uk government needed people to fill from overseas so now this list has been replaced by the immigration salary list and there's got a lot of changes that is going on there so i want you to pay close attention to this video because this is going to spell out the new occupations that are on the immigration salary list and the salary threshold of each one of them this is published today the 4th of april 2024 and um this is the immigration salary list which has replaced the shortage occupation list so it says that if your job is on the list the minimum salary is 80 percent of the route usually minimum rate to qualify for a skilled worker visa okay so if your job is on this list it means that the minimum salary requirement is 80 percent the annual salary for these jobs are based on 37.5 hours and it must be prorated for other working patterns based on the weekly working hours stated to you by your employer if you do not know your job code you can look on this link which is the cascot occupation coding tool i'll talk about this in another video but for the purpose of this video let's go straight to the immigration salary list it says that if you qualify for the standard rates because you've got your certificate of sponsorship after 4th of april you should look at the standard rates column and if you qualify for the lower rates you should look at the lower rate column what makes you qualify for the lower rates to be qualified for the lower rate it means that you have you are applying for the health and care visa in certain occupations you have got your certificate of sponsorship to apply for your visa before the 4th of april or you got your cos for your first skilled worker visa before the 4th of april and you have continuously held one or more skilled worker visa since then so this is the list right guys this is the list so the first job that's the code over there so when you're going to apply for your visa now this is a clue even if you are very sure just double check your shortage occupation code against the job title that you have been sponsored for and be sure that that is the right code i'll do that in my next video that is the right code before you apply for the job so this is for managers and proprietors in forestry fishing and related services only fishing boat masters and this is for scotland only and the salary is thirty thousand nine hundred and sixty, which is for the standard rate and for the lower rate is twenty seven thousand. the next job is the chemical scientist that is only jobs in the nuclear industry and that is for scotland only which is also thirty five thousand two hundred for the standard rates and twenty nine thousand six hundred for the lower rates biological scientist all jobs which is uk wide every part of uk the standard rate is forty one thousand nine hundred, and the lower rate is thirty two thousand one hundred. social and humanitarian scientist only archaeologist which is uk wide and the salary threshold is there so the higher figure is for the standard rate and the lower figure is for the lower rates obviously the next job is graphic and multimedia design for all jobs which is also uk wide and the salary thresholds are there so the standard rate and then the lower rates laboratory technician this is the only job requiring three or more years related on the job experience this experience must not have been gained through working illegally right and that is the salary threshold as well so the standard rate and the lower rate are stated over there the next job is pharmaceutical technicians all jobs uk wide and the standard rate is there and the lower rate is also there next job is artist all jobs uk wide the standard rate is 32,900 lower rate is 27,300 dancers and choreographers only skilled classical ballet dancers or skilled contemporary dancers who meet the standard required by internationally recognized uk ballet or contemporary dance companies the company must be endorsed as being internationally recognized by a uk industry such as the art council of england scotland and wales so this is also uk wide and the salary thresholds are written nicely over there 
the next job you're going to be looking at is musicians this is only skilled orchestra musicians who are leaders principal sub principal or numbered string positions and who meet the standard required by internationally recognized uk orchestras the orchestra must be a full member of the association of british orchestras and this one is also uk wide and the minimum threshold or the lowest rate threshold salary is written there and the standard is the 32,900 pounds per annum. The next is arts officers, producers and directors. It is also UK wide. The standard threshold is 37,500 and the lower threshold or the lower rate is 31,300. Agriculture and fishing trade not elsewhere classified only jobs in the fishing industry that one is also written there the standard salary is thirty thousand nine hundred and sixty, and the lower rate is twenty three thousand two hundred welders so the world is the only ones only high integrity pipe welders where the job requires three or more years related to the job experience this experience must not have been gained through working illegally so it should be something that you can evidence and it should be uk wide the salary thresholds are spelled there as well the next is boat and shop builders and repairs all jobs so this is for scotland only those who are going to be applying for scotland and the salary thresholds are written there 32,400, and then the lower rate is 26 28,100. The next job is stonemasons and related trades. That is all jobs. So stonemasons is UK wide. The salary is written there. The next one is the bricklayers, also UK wide. The next one is roofers, roof tilers, and slaters. So it's more of the construction industry, right? The next one is carpenters and joiners, and their salary is also written there. The next one is construction and building trade, not elsewhere classified. So maybe it's not classified as um, either being a, a roofer or a carpenter or whatever. Um, that one is also, it comes under this category and it's written over there. And the salary is 30960 for the standard rate and 25500 for the lower rate. The next is care workers and home carers. So all jobs except jobs with working location in England are only eligible in the soc 2020 occupation code where the sponsor holds registration with the care quality commission and is currently carrying on a regulated activity private house owners or individuals other than sole trader sponsoring someone to work for their business cannot sponsor skilled worker applicants so you know that initially somebody could have just opened their company as private owned and you know run these businesses but now they're saying that if this business is not cqc registered or cqc regulated they cannot recruit as skilled workers they can't give applicant certificates of sponsorship right and the salary threshold is also there so for the standard rate is thirty thousand hundred and sixty, and for the lower rate is twenty three thousand two hundred the next category is senior care workers all jobs except jobs with a work location in england are eligible in this soc 2020 occupation code where the sponsor holds registration with care quality commission and is currently carrying on regulated activities and their salary threshold is the same as the care workers and home carers right the next one is the animal care services so that is their salary also written there the next is fishing and other elementary agriculture occupation not elsewhere classified as only deck hands on large fishing vessels meters and above where the job requires the worker to have at least three years full-time experience in using their skills this experience must not have been gained through illegal work and the salary threshold for this for standard rate is 30,960 and the lower rate is 23,200. Now, guys, we all know that there have been drastic changes in the UK immigration policies and systems. So we know that on the 4th of December 2023, it was announced that in April there was going to be changes with a shortage occupation code 
and then the salary threshold so this is it so now the immigration salary list has replaced the shortage occupation list and abolition of 20 percent going with discount previously a benefit of replacing an occupation on the sol it has also um stated here that general threshold raised from 26,200 to 38,700 this is an increase from the 25th to the 50th percentile of eligible skilled worker occupations alongside an update to the latest criminal wage data for occupations on the immigration salary list a threshold of either 30,960 or their occupation specific threshold whichever is higher if on the health and care visa an exception recognizing the public value and as stated by the government to continue to bring healthcare workers that are care sector and nhs need the general threshold of 29,000 rather than 38,700 which continues to be the 25th percentile of salaries uprated to the latest data so if you are coming in the health and care visa instead of the 38,700 threshold you can come in with a salary threshold of 29,000 pounds so practically this is the list that have been updated this is the time we've waited for and there you go the list has been updated but then i urge you all guys to try in my next video i'm going to share how to check your shortage occupation code before you apply for a job okay before you apply for a job try and search so i'm going to leave the link to all that i've said here in my description box so that you can read for your further authentication so this is it a lot has happened but let's try and take it one day at a time if you're applying from overseas i wish you all the very best take your time go through the list see where your occupation falls if you've got a certificate of sponsorship go online check your shortage occupation code be sure that that code you've been given matches the salary and the job title that you have you know you have been recruited for and also keep documentation of everything you have done through your process from the time you spotted the job to the time you applied everything concerning that job keep it because you never know when you'll be called to evidence anything i wish you the very best in your transitioning in your journey wherever you are whether in the uk or not um i mean i wish you the very best thank you so much for watching until we take in my next video.